Now, I'm at a beautiful place and I want to show you around a little bit. I'll show you throughout the video. I'll show you around, but it's beautiful. But I want to share with you something that I'm not saying this is the truth, the ultimate truth. I just believe it's a part of the, the entire puzzle. And it's the idea that a location is not going to make us happy. I had that illusion a lot, long time ago and I moved more than once thinking that the reason why I wasn't happy was the location where I was. And I had that dream that, oh, this place is going to make me happy, so I'm just going to move there. And I'm not saying that your location doesn't have a lot to do with, maybe, with your happiness. But what I experienced is that I lived here about a year ago. I came to the beach probably every day or almost every single day. I love the area and everything, but the place wasn't for me. And I realized that deep down, it's not a place that's gonna make me happy because I can be at the most gorgeous beaches every single day. But if there's something inside of you where you feel empty, you feel whatever, no location is gonna feel that. No place is going to feel that. If we don't feel a deep sense of connection with ourselves and with others, I don't care where you live, that's not gonna fix that. Maybe if you don't have a, a hobby you're very passionate about or any other passion that just makes time go by and you just lose track of time and it fulfills you at a deeper level. If you don't have something like that, no location is gonna be able to give you that. if you're not experiencing maybe a sense of meaning and purpose. And I think we all kind of, when we hear that, we think, oh yeah, I need to change the world. I need to be inspiring thousands or millions of people. And it doesn't need to be that way. I've had periods of my life, the, the thing that is coming up to me right now is, I had a friend that was dying of cancer and I offered to do Reiki on him. And he loved the idea. And I went to his house every single day and did Reiki on him. And that felt incredible. And it's not just a sense of like, oh, look at me, look at what I'm doing for other people and just inflating my ego. It's deep down, we all want that sense of meaning and purpose and that your existence matters. And of course it does. We know that deep down, but sometimes we need a little confirmation and that, that's okay. I go through that all the time. But when I had that experience, I wasn't inspiring thousands of people, but I was changing the life of one person. And that meant a lot to me, and it meant a lot to him and his family, and my family, and all of our friends. My actions inspire other people to step up and, and support him even more. And I think it's those little things that we sometimes take for granted, because we're looking for the bigger stuff and radical changes in our lives. Thinking that we need a radical change to be happy. I can almost guarantee you, because every time that I do this, I can almost guarantee you that you'll feel amazing if one day a week you volunteer your time. It could be half an hour, an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever. Volunteer your time to a cause that really resonates with you whether it's with animals, with kids, with elderly people, dying people, whatever really resonates with you, donate an hour of your time, once a week, and tell me if that doesn't feel amazing. I'm all about self-acceptance, self-compassion, self-love, but we also need to balance all the self with giving back. And I don't know, now I'm kind of going in another direction than what I thought I was going to say in the video, but I just want to share that idea, just some food for thought that 
we tend to think, oh, when I have that job, I'll be happy. When I live in that location, I'll be happy. When I'm able to go on that adventure, I'll be happy. When I find a partner, I'll be happy. What if we can start... I'm not saying not to strive for more, not to desire more. That's a natural part of the human journey. Don't feel bad for that. But what I'm encouraging you to consider is to be grateful for what you already have. The people in your life. The experiences. Every little thing that you can think of that you can be grateful for. And that's a whole other thing talking about gratitude. I'll probably make more videos on that. But just consider the idea of every single day finding something that you're grateful for. Three things. In the morning, three things before you go to sleep. Think about that. You're kind of programming your mind throughout the whole night to be aware of things you're grateful for. Things that you took for granted yet that you can be grateful for and appreciate in your life. I can almost guarantee that over time that's going to change your life. So if you want to move, keep heading towards that dream that you have. So keep that vision, but don't forget about your journey. Don't forget about the journey, because in five years it's going to look back and be like, holy shit, I was obsessed about my destination, and I completely ignore the journey much love